Good evening YouTube, good evening Facebook, good evening Twitter, good evening Instagram and all the other social platforms out there. This is Adrian Williams coming at you with part five of asset protection. Okay, so again, just to be clear, uh, asset protection is to protect your personal goods so that if anybody sues your business, okay, they can't get your bank account, they can't get your homes, they can't get your cars, they can't get the stuff that you're leaving for your kids, that's asset protection, okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna ask you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, subscribe, share, comment, uh, do all the great things that are available uh, to engage me in what you would like to hear, and I will give you back the information that you wanna hear. If you don't talk to me, I can't give you what you want to hear. I can only give you what I think is pertinent, but there might be some things that I'm missing that you want to hear and I'll give it to you. All right. So with that being said, uh, we're going to get into rule number five. Excuse me. We're going to get into rule number five and rule number five states that living trusts offer no asset protection. All right. So whoever's telling you this stuff, please stop listening to them. All right. Living trusts offer no asset protection, all right? The benefit of a living trust is to avoid probate, and that's going to the courts and the court deciding which person gets this, who gets that. Somebody might jump up and say, yo, I'm a long lost uncle, I deserve this and I deserve that, and it draws the process out for a long period of time. A living trust stops that, okay? So here's a tip. You cannot rely on a limited liability company for probate avoidance, all right? And you cannot ever count on a living trust for asset protection. But if you combine them both, you get the best of both deals, all right? So again, LLC will not protect you from probate. It will not stop the court from interjecting and saying who gets what and it leaves you open uh, for the lengthy process of the court, all right? A living trust can't offer you asset protection, okay? A living trust stops the court process from going to court. It eliminates that because you've already written out who gets what and so on and so forth. But if somebody were to sue you and all you had was a living trust, your property is still up for grabs now, all right? So you combine both of these, all right, and it gives you the best of both worlds, okay? A properly structured LLC and living trust work well together and complement each other. That's it. It's simple, okay? Again, do your due diligence, all right? See if I'm giving you the correct advice. Go to a lawyer and, and, and see whether or not what I'm telling you is accurate and correct. All right, I'm not a lawyer, but I've done my research and I understand that these concepts are pretty not expensive and simple to put into order, okay? That is asset protection. Asset protection protects you, the individual, from your business entity, okay? You create the business entity for protection so nobody can sue you and get at the stuff that you worked all your life for, the stuff that you want to leave to your kids, and so on and so forth. So, again, rule number five of asset protection. A living trust offers no asset protection. Do not be fooled. With that, that's part five. I'll see you guys for part six. Take it easy and enjoy your night.